Okay, so in this video, I'll continue from the last video, and we were talking about the references. So if you are citing some papers, how do you cite them and how do you use them? So we're going to talk about that here. So let me show you. So these are the extra files here, auxiliary files and then some log files, and even if you delete them, that's okay. Sometimes what happens is that you wrote something, but you cannot see the effect or anything. So maybe one of those files are messed up, um, is messed up. And because of that, you don't actually see what's happening. So just delete those files and run the whole thing again. It'll come up and it'll create those files again. You see that? So don't worry about the extra files. So there'll always be some extra files. Now our job is to um, find out how to create references. So I have something here. Let me see. It is called a BibTech database. Okay, this one is it. So in this, I have a citation. I just copied it from a website, IEEE website and IEEE Explorer website, and then pasted it here. So it comes like this. The only thing I changed is the first um, key here. This is called the site key. So I'm going to copy it. It's called sample one, two, three, four. Straight and simple. Okay. What I'm going to do here, the first thing to use citations is to use this package called cite. So just add that package to your document. Then wherever you want to cite it, just say that um, to this according to in order to cite a reference, you need to say according to slash site and the key, what was sample one, two, three, four, right? So you just use that and then you're fine. Let me see, that easy, right? But how do we tell LaTeX where is our database stored? This file, this file is the database, but how do we tell LaTeX where is it stored? And how does it know how to present it? For that, each conference again has a, a format that they specify. So there is a class for this too. For um, IEEE Tran, you can go bibliography style. So you specify the style that you want to use. I'll use IEEE Tran. So it's for IEEE transactions, if you're wondering. Anyways, bibliography, after that you go bibliography and then specify the name of your database, which in our case is IEEE tutorial. I double -E tutorial actually, I mistyped it, but it's okay. Just for the sake of sample, we don't care. So you specify your database here, you specify your um, style here, and then you have to refer it. So I refer it here, and for that you need a package. I add that, added that package here. So we did three things one style two bibliography database and then the three adding the right package then um, you can refer them as many times as you want all you have to do is just this paste it wherever you want let's see now i'm going to run it and see what happens okay here and here it came away fine sometimes it will be a problem probably because i um was using it and i tried to run it and this reference it appears here see it automatically created a section called references which is not numbered as you would expect it and then it has put it at the end so sometimes you'll have issues with that it won't be that easy so what you need to do if it is not working you can do a bib tech only the bib tech run it a couple of times if you make a change and then you do the PDF LaTeX. First time it might be a question mark instead of this number so run it again and most probably the third time you'll get it right. So that's how simple it is to add a ref reference to your BibTech database. So um, if you want to see more let me do something. So I have this and what I'm going to do is I'll download another one from some website again. Um, let me see. I'm just going to search on some term and download the citation. So 
I'll go to YEEE Explore. I'm doing it on my another screen, so you won't be able to see it, but trust me, there is no funny stuff going on. I'm just coping stuff. Okay, so I just got one reference here. I'll paste it. I updated it, and let's call it by the name of the author. So usually the way I refer it is that the name of the author in the lowercase and then the year the paper was published. And if there was two papers published by the same author in the same year, I go 2009A, 2009B. Okay, so this is our BIP tech database. And it was called Ching Li. So I'll cite it somewhere, slash cite. Ching 2009, right? Let's see. I'll run it and here you see a question mark I'll run it again let's see did it get it nope let me try again even third time it didn't get it so what I need to do is that I go here I run the bib tag run it once and then go back to PDF LaTeX run it once still the question mark let's try it again it got it right so that's what you need to do so you need to run a bib tag once and then you need to run your LaTeX twice. So in the first run, usually what it does is that it updates the OX files, these files, so that these files actually know what is the bibliography and which ones are they using. And this is your PDF file that you can submit if you have to submit after you are done. Okay, so that's what all I had today for the references. Let me know if you have any question. Oh, by the way, yeah. Here, reference one, if you're wondering, reference two went to the next page. So it automatically took care of the numbering. Now, one more thing that I would like to show you. The references up here in the order they were used. Um, usually that happens. It doesn't look like that is happening right now. Usually they appear in the sequence they were used. So maybe if we delete these papers, sorry, the extra files. And uh, okay. And do the big tag again. And then the PDF late tag. So it's not taking the bibliography right now. Let me delete everything again. Okay, so it can be a little pain initially, but don't worry. So just run the bib tag and then go to PBF LaTeX and and it's not coming. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, let's see if I made a mistake. Doesn't look like that though. Let me try all these three together. Okay, it worked. So you see this became one now. So this came as first two. So I was using PDF LaTeX, but I need to take the make index too. So that works. Usually on my Mac, I don't have to do that. If I do a Control T, it takes care of it. But um, if you're using this Windows version of MCTAC, this is recommended, apparently. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then the numbering is based on the appearance of that particular citation. Okay, so we'll stop here. If you have a question, go to quicklatec.blogspot.com and leave a comment and I'll try to answer your question. Thank you. Have a good fun.